Hello friends, this is a video of laparoscopic excision of bleeding gist tumor from proximal jejunum. The 40 year old male who presented with acute melena and the hemoglobin dropped to 6. After that he was evaluated at another center where it was found there is a 3 by 3 centimeter uh, tumor proximal uh, in the proximal jejunum in the mesenteric border as you can see from this image so on capsule endoscopy and uh, and everything was done and it was confirmed as there's a uh, some mucosal swelling in the proximal jejunum so i decided to go ahead with jejunal excision and the jejunal, jejunal anastomosis so you can see i'm just creating the mesenteric window just uh, five centimeter proximal and distal to the tumor and uh, here i am using the 60 mm uh, blue GI stapler, endoscopic GI stapler, and divided this is the proximal end and this is the distal end. So, after applying the stapler, wait for one minute and then uh, you can fire, and uh, you can get a clear, dry staple line. So, after that, the mesenteric division was done, uh, it was uh, taking a clear margin uh, from the tumor and uh, the tumor was uh, excised uh, without breaching its capsule so uh, using harmonic shears the gradually and very gently the mesenteric uh, mesentery was divided and uh, there was uh, no uh, bleeding and it was uh, kept aside the specimen is kept aside and then uh, side to side isoperistaltic jejunal jejunostomy was uh, done so I am taking a stay suture of the proximal and distal uh, jejunal uh, end so keeping it at the site and it will give it will act as a traction so after that uh, doing enterotomy with cutting mode uh, of using hook and then uh, enlarge the uh, hole to allow the uh, end of the GI stapler so you can see I'm just uh, dilating the hole and then uh, again uh, 60 mm blue load so once uh, it is done that uh, side to side uh, after uh, waiting for one minute uh, side to side anastomosis were done so there was a bleeding from the posterior staple line there was a spart bleeding so I decided to uh, put a stitch so better not to apply any energy source on the staple line so it's better to take a stitch I have uh, using a 2-0 uh, PDA suture I have uh, taken a bite uh, figure of 8 suture was kept uh, to control the bleed and the bleeding was stopped so in jejunal jejunostomy sometimes you one uh, uh, white load is preferable to decrease the chance of bleeding so i didn't have the white load at that time so i went ahead with the uh, blue load and uh, once the bleeding is controlled now it's uh, closure of the enterotomy so using the same 20 pda suture starting from the uh, from the proximal end will be going to the distal end gradually in a continuous manner so first bite was on the posterior staple line and then gradually coming out and uh, coming on the anterior aspect so in a continuous manner more of a serosal um, uh, it's a full thickness suture full thickness bites were taken but more uh, serosa and less mucosa so that once we pull the suture the mucosa gets inverted and in this way the anastomosis was uh, completed the op whole operation uh, took almost uh, one and a half hours and the uh, post-operative uh, recovery was uneventful patient was mobilized on post-operative day zero he was allowed liquid diet on post-operative day one and pod3 he passed tool and started on soft diet and discharge on post-operative day four so biopsy report came out to be a benign low grade gist so all margins were free and uh, patient was and the immunohistochemistry marker was uh, positive for gist also and uh, patient is on regular follow-up and is doing well 
so gradually starting from one end you can see I'm just uh, reaching on to the uh, other end in a continuous manner so this uh, entrotomy closure uh, by by seeing this entrotomy closure you can understand the importance of learning laparoscopic suturing so this tumor was in the proximal jejunum which is a difficult location even in open surgery uh, the reaching the proximal jejunum is sometimes difficult so this extension anastomosis is in in this particular case laparoscopy helps in uh, having a clear vision and uh, by uh, doing this we avoided the morbidity of laparotomy and once the operation is done i have excised the specimen by enlarging the 12 millimeter port this is the port position i've used 5 millimeter camera and the two 5 millimeter ports one retraction and two right and left hand ports thank you so much for watching this video and uh, keep watching